Well, hey there, my friend, and welcome. In this lesson, we're going to talk about pronouncing the ED or the regular past tense ending. So this can be a little tricky because there's actually three different ways that this ending is pronounced. It can be pronounced as id, as in shifted or needed. It can also sound like the D sound, d, 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 as in closed, loved, or it can sound like the T, 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 as in walked or washed. So how do you know how this ending is supposed to sound? The good news is there are patterns or rules for the pronunciation of the ED ending, and I'm going to share those three rules with you in this lesson today. And be sure to stay with me all the way through the lesson because I'm also going to share two key tips on how to make this ending easier to pronounce, and we'll practice it together. Sound like a plan? All right, let's dive in. The way you pronounce the ED ending all depends on the sound that comes right before the ending. So if the word you're starting with or the root word ends in a T or a D sound, you're going to pronounce that ED ending as id, id, needed, wanted, avoided, waited, decided, visited. Okay, the only time the ED is ever going to sound like id is when your word that you start with ends in a T or D. Okay, second rule, when the word that you're starting with ends in a voiced consonant sound, then the ED ending is going to sound like d, 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 learned, closed, controlled, loved. And anytime a word ends in a vowel sound, because our vowels are all voiced, you're going to hear that D sound as well. Tried, freed. And rule number three, when your root word or the word that you start with ends in a voiceless consonant sound, then that ED ending is going to sound like a t t t talked, laughed, worked, hoped, washed, impressed. So the key thing to remember is that the only time the ED ending is going to sound like id is when your word that you start with ends in a T or a D sound. So it's never going to be washed, loved, changed. You're only going to hear that id sound after a T or a D ending. And then as far as whether you should say the T sound or the D sound, go with what's easiest. Here's what I mean. It's hard to say the voiced D sound after the voiceless SH. So wash d, wash d. It takes a lot of effort. Washed, washed. Much easier just to say the T sound. Another example, talk d. Talked. It's hard to get that D in there, but the T sound flows much easier. Talked. Talked. So go with what feels easiest. Okay, and here's another little secret to make pronouncing that ED ending a little easier. Use linking. Connect the words. So anytime you have a word that ends with the regular past tense ed and the next word starts with a vowel sound, that final d is going to link over in front of the next word. Okay, here's an example. Needed a. Uh. Instead of needed a, uh, two distinct words, needed a. Uh needed. Uh. I'm holding on to that I vowel sound and letting that D come right over in front of the word uh. Needed. Uh. Try it with me. Needed. Uh. 
They needed a break. They needed a break. Another example, lasted about. Instead of two distinct separate words, lasted about. That D sound coming over in front of the word about. Lasted about. Lasted about. It lasted about an hour. It lasted about an hour. Decided on. Decided on. We finally decided on dinner. We finally decided on dinner. A lot of times when your starting word doesn't end in a T or a D, adding that ED ending results in what's called a consonant cluster or two consonant sounds right next to each other, which can be very difficult to pronounce, especially if you're not used to consonant clusters, if they're not present in your native language. So here, again, using linking can make these clusters much easier to pronounce because it breaks them up. Here's an example. Talked about. Talked about. With two distinct words, we have a k-t, k-t ending, talked about. With linking, talked about talked about. That T sound links over in front of the word about. Talked about. Talked about. We talked about everything. We talked about everything. Another example, worked out. Worked out becomes worked out. Worked out. With that T sound linking over in front of the word out. Worked out. I'm so glad it all worked out. I'm so glad it all worked out. Looked at. Looked, again, we have that tricky consonant cluster. Looked at becomes looked at. Looked at. With that T sound coming over in front of the word at. Looked at. Have you looked at the final numbers? Have you looked at the final numbers? Let's try some examples with the D sound ending. Cleaned out. We have the N and D cluster at the end of cleaned out. That final D sound will link over in front of the word out and become cleaned out. Cleaned out. I cleaned out all the closets. I cleaned out all the closets. Another example, warmed up warmed up. That D links over in front of up and becomes warmed up. Warmed up. It really warmed up this week. It really warmed up this week. One more example. Called about. Called. We have that L and D cluster, but that D will link over in front of the word about and sound like about about, called about, called about. He called about an hour ago. He called about an hour ago. Interesting, right? So using linking or connecting those sounds makes those ed endings easier to pronounce and it creates a more smooth and natural sounding flow to your spoken English. So there you have it, the three rules or patterns for pronouncing that ED ending, as well as two key tips for making it easier to pronounce. First tip, remember, it's only going to sound like id when the ED comes after a word that ends in T or D. Second tip, use linking to make pronouncing that ED easier by combining sounds between words. I hope you found the lesson helpful. If you did, please be sure to share with friends. That is the very highest compliment. Also, come on over to the Clear English Corner blog, and I have some additional linking practice for you with the ED ending. I've got a link to the lesson for you in the video description. As always, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.